1998, the Australian government also banned hand-feeding dolphins. But where the tourism industry was booming, feeding of wild dolphins was allowed to continue. Under Commonwealth and state law, it was made illegal for the public to hand feed dolphins due to environmental health and safety concerns for those animals and for humans. Yet, because these four sites were already operating, they were given permits or licenses under their state governments to continue. I'll let you know when to feed, guys. I'm a bit confused, to be honest with you, because it's illegal to feed wild animals. That's my understanding, yet we still allow that situation to happen. On one hand, you're telling people not to, but on the other hand, you got, you're doing it, and you're, you're making it legal to do it. Over the years, the dolphin feeding industry has become big business. We're gonna go at the same time, guys. Three, two, one. The four dolphin feeding sites in Australia draw hundreds of thousands of visitors a year, creating infrastructure and services, generating employment and delivering millions of tourist dollars. We have four adult dolphins in with us this morning. The two females have their calves. Little Luna down there, he's beautiful. And Patch, he's becoming quite a good gift bringer. These Australian humpback dolphins are famous for bringing in gifts found in the creek as they make their way in for a feed. Dolphins are wild and for them just to come in on their own accord is amazing, just amazing. It's great that they're like completely wild and free to do what they wish to do. It's a completely different experience being in the wild to being at a zoo or something like yeah. that. It actually is a bit emotional for me, <laughs> to be honest. Being so up and close and so beautiful, you just feel that connection with them, it's just air. Yeah. It's something I'll never forget.